The UN says 500,000 people have fled Ukraine, and our next guest is one of them. Ksenia Harchenko left Ukraine with her five-year-old child. She's now in Poland, and that's where she's joining us right now. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, thank you for speaking with us in this moment. Hello. Now, you arrived in Poland last night. I'm wondering if you could describe for us what that journey was like. I know there is a, a desperate uh, flee right now from the capital city, uh, Kyiv, to, to try to get out of the country. Yes, of course. Well, the main question for me was uh, how to choose this, like, point X and where should, like, when should I leave, actually? Because people from the neighborhood to say that when they hear the first shooting in the city, this already is too late. So actually, I have had packed my safety backpack for like three times and I was waiting for two weeks because the situation was like really, really getting harsh. But once I heard the bombing on the night or like very early in the morning on, or on Thursday, I instantly realized this time and we passed in like an hour and a half. And it was already too late because the whole city was just covered with cars. It was impossible to move. So me, uh, my son and my ex-husband, we just took a decision to go back and to wait until the situation gets a little bit lighter, which means when the road will be like more clear. But uh, as uh, the situation is, like, was developing, we have realized that this night we have to spend in a bomb box waiting for the missiles to fall on our city and we have packed once again we moved in a car and we have been like waiting for the morning and for the curfew to end in order to leave and then there was also a warning about the sirens and so we went to a shelter and then once we get out i told him that it's time to leave right now and it took us three days driving a car with the two cars because he was coming back with his own car to get the territory of Rana and uh, me and my son we were driving like forward to, to Poland so uh, we were on the big street it was a highway in Kiev and it took us like seven hours just to get out of the city and normally it takes like 20 minutes during like the rush hour even so and there was uh, bombing everywhere so actually I was afraid that some kind of missile, which is fallen on the street, which is a huge arteria uh, that leads to Lviv. And it will be just all like crashed and no one will go anywhere. So we left. We were really scared. We stayed overnight in another city because we were unable to drive anymore. And then we moved to the northern border, like the northern part of the border of uh, Ukraine and Poland. And I have spent 30 hours my kids, luckily not in a car, uh, while we found ourselves in, in Poland. And I'm lucky enough to have a Polish contact, uh, to speak Polish, to have friends, to have uh, like lots of people who would help me a lot. And right now I'm sitting in an apartment which was provided by a, a mom of the friend of mine. But as for the rest, the people are like gathering. There are so many Polish people who are just, you know, they have arranged a volunteer center and they just disseminate everyone who comes to Poland. Uh, they have buses mm -hmm. to provide various foods, uh, everything that they can do, they do that. So, so a, a, a warm uh, welcome, a warm welcome then for, for people who are fleeing Ukraine, it seems like yourself. Yeah. You know, as we said, you're, you're traveling. You mentioned your son. He's only five years old. What was this journey like for him as you fled Ukraine trying to find safety in Poland? Well, for him, the journey was rather, well, rather like um, an adventure. And I must say that uh, actually my main concern was my sleepless day driving in a foreign country or like driving somewhere out of the i don't know like the regular area which is uh right now at the moment there was a road without any signs so i would basically not know where i'm where am i going and if there is no um and cell coverage then i just won't be able to drive like seven months any navigation uh he is a brave guy who spent like three days and two nights in the park uh, he was playing and he was sleeping in the car, so for him this is rather fine. But now he's still packing. He came here, he got his presents, he got his cars, like some toy, toy cars, like some 
that he liked a lot. And what he does, he collects the things that he liked the most mm-hmm. in a mm-hmm. corridor in order to take them to the next, you know, to the next journey. So he basically is disoriented. He waits where we will go next. Yeah, and, and I, th- I, I believe that is, of course, the, the situation for so many, not knowing what is next. But uh, Kusania, thank you for talking to us today. We wish you and your son well, and of course your family who are still in Ukraine. Thank you for this. Thank you very much. Let it be so.